Hi, I'm Dr. Mangla. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF and KC Raju Multi Speciality Hospital. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist, and infertility specialist by profession. In pregnancy, there is an increased chance of blood clot formation to occur. This is because of hypercoagulability. Due to several factors and changes in pregnancy, the blood tends to clot a lot more than in the ordinary person. It's about 5 times more than in an ordinary person in pregnancy and probably 20 times more following delivery. So this blood clot formation can cause complications in pregnancy because of which a lot of doctors advise the patients to use blood thinners or anticoagulants. This may be in the form of warfarin or heparin or low molecular weight heparin. However, warfarin use is quite rare and a lot of times we use heparin or low molecular weight heparin. Now, what are the cases in which we use these blood thinners? So generally, it's not used in all pregnancies, even though there is a hypercoagulable state. So we use only in specific conditions, such as when the patient has a tendency to more blood clot formation, as in thrombophilias, or the patient is having recurrent pregnancy loss, so it is seen in APLA syndrome, or in patients who have a strong family history of thromboembolism, or if the patient itself has had a past history of thromboembolism or clot formation. It is also used in certain patients who are aged, or who are multiparous, that is, are pregnant several times, or also in patients who are supposed to undergo a operative delivery and thereby require prolonged bed rest. So in all these cases, we tend to use these blood thinners.